Hello everybody, and my name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Dishonored 2 Corvo playthrough. Let's do it, baby. Let's continue. So we got our powers back. Um, where is... Wait, oh, there's our blank. So we could put this on three for now. We could put our heart on four, and everything else is kind of where it is. So three, we've got our blink back, and then four. We got our baby, our sweet baby grill. She's back. She's talking. All right, girl. You don't need to be all creeposaurus about. Oh shit! I like when I want to talk to her. I squeeze it now. Oh wait, whoa. Lock rune. So can I put her away now and have that rune there? Oh nice. All right, cool. Travel log. Let's take a look. Oh, we're gonna write in our travel log. Uh, a, a long day in Dunwall. For the for most people, a new year means renewed hope and promises. Me, I just hate the memories that get dra dredged up. T today, third day of the month of Earth, uh, would have been Jessamine's birthday. We used to take a uh, skiff out on the river before dawn, bringing a good bottle of sparkling wine just to take a few moments to watch the sun rise together. Alone for a while before she got caught up in the duties of for her the day. Well, word, it's difficult. All these years later, why am I still thinking about it? And the anniversary. The worst time of the year. These weeks leading up to the anniversary just means murder. I run through it all again. If I'd just been there a moment sooner or known more, than a, uh, more about Dowd, if I'd been just a bit stronger, faster, and smarter. If, if, if. One moment she was there, the next in my arms, slipping away. Nothing I could do. Yes, I still grieve. The whole world still grieves. And so we mark the day she was murdered with somber speeches and trumpets. The month of harvest can't come soon enough. Ooh, and wait, whoa, it's called Dishonored. I was all throwing me off. Uh, feels like it did all those years ago. Jessamine uh, and me, just a moment too late. Now Emily... This witch, Delilah, the most powerful magic I've ever seen, she tore away the outsider's mark and made Emily into stone. I will find a way to undo it and to undo Delilah herself, along with her accomplice, Duke Abel. Somehow I'll make sure they pay for what they've done to Emily. Uh, I've dealt with that weasel Ramsey for a start, but thanks to Delilah and the Duke and the whole empire, the whole empire thinks I'm the crown killer. Before, but for now, I'm on a boat heading away to, from Dunwall toward my homeland. Seems absurd to write it down. The captain is Megan Foster. Says she's friends with Anton Sokolov, the old royal physician. I have no choice but to trust her. For now, we sail to Sarkonos. At least it gives me time to think. I need a plan. A plan to save Emily and put, pull Delilah from the throne she stole. And then the void. I'd almost forgotten the way it feels to walk the void. That sickening sensation like falling, like being abandoned by everything you've ever known. And the outsider, those dead eyes of his, limitless black. Of course he offered me the same gift. I thought I might refuse just to let him know I won't be a part of his games. But then I remembered Emily, trapped by Delilah's magic. So I took it. Anything I can use against the Duke and Delilah. Anything to defeat them and save my daughter. If this gift comes with a price, I just hope it's not too too steep. And what, uh, what will his other gift cost me? Jasmine's beloved voice, trapped in the same strange contraption that kept me company 15 years ago. I've been trying to forget it, but it is comforting to be able to talk to her again. And yet, it's not entirely the person I knew anymore. We finally arrived in Kanarka. I've s I haven't seen this city in years. Nobody's waiting for me there, neither the people nor the Duke. Which is interesting, because, again, did they specifically say that it was Delilah or, or uh, Jasmine's voice in the heart in the first game? Because I feel like they didn't. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mayhew, I am deeply sorry to inform you that your daughter, Captain Alexi Mayhew, was killed in action during the recent coup in Dunwall. Alexi was brave, loyal, and selfless until the end, and she, as she has always been, since the day she fought alongside the Empress and saved her from the carriage attack uh, while they were just kids. Emily never had a better friend. It has been an honor to know and work with your daughter. Be assured that as soon as Emily is restored to the throne, and I swear she will be, I'll make sure Alexi's death is properly memorialized. With all my sympathy, Corvo. The Royal Guard. All right. Well, let's do this. Ooh, the crossbow. It's not what you're used to living in a palace, but this is all the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operated on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need a the ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. 
Buying from the black market is against the law, but it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on this crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, the shops can help there as well. Nice. Get our crossbow back. It looks a lot more, um, metallic this time around. Either way, good to know. Maintenance list. Uh, I will repeat again in case you're new to the series. The way I play these particular games is, uh... Wait, what? It's almost trying to break in, it looks like. Uh, the way I play these games is I do like the lore. I love the world of Dishonored. I really do. Uh, so I read all the little, the little notes and stuff. Repair the things that got busted up in Anton's room when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No scratch that. Not until I bring him back home as a show of faith that he will be coming back. Unblock the storage door. Looks like something fell on the other side and I really need to sell the stuff locked up in there to make some coin. Pay back, uh, pay the port tax and look the other way fees to those grand guard bastards before they wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. All right. Unblock the storage room. So we have a, an optional quest to unblock this. Is there a way in? I can, is there like some way I can maybe find a way in? I'm thinking like going in from the top maybe would be our best bet. This is a big ass freaking boat. The jewel of the south. My homeland. It's beautiful. This is all busted up. We do have a rune not too far, which we do do want to grab. This must be where the captain is. Dreadful whale accounting. Man, everybody in this world is fucking hideous. Dunwall seems so far away. So Dunwall. I'll come back soon, Emily. Okay, so Dunwall's on the coast right there, and there's Circonos, which is where we are. And these are all songs, ninth songs, new sextant, Canterbury, blah blah blah. Interesting. Dreadful Whale accounting it's- oh, it's a book I can collect. Interesting. So wait. The optional quest to unlock and unbust this door down here. How do I wonder how I can get in there? Must be cursed. Daft old man. This is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. Alright, well before I go talk to her, I want to see if I can keep exploring. Huh. Bathroom. Trying to fix a secondary engine. Anton, your idea of improving the head gasket ceiling with a guano coating is the worst you've ever had. I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix their mess by tomorrow. Megan, if all inventors were as delicate and short-tempered as you are, you and I would be still paddling around the carved out logs. Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe. Tiffy and spices, blah, blah, blah. Anton. Where are you, old fool? Hope nobody hurt you. I'll find you. I swear I miss you. Aw. He misses him. So there's nothing else to explore down here. Can't go down there. Crossbow bolts. This must be... I'm assuming this is going to be kind of like my, um, my home base operations. Alright, let's go talk to her. Hey. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. I appreciate it. Uh, on the effect of the winds of the Karnakan landmass in resulting economic positions. Whale oil. Liquid power. How astonishing that within those beasts inside the oil harvested along with their flesh was enough power to see the isles through the tumultuous years. It all seemed limitless, but now you... The rights... Wait. But now the lights begin to dim. Our fisher folks say the great bees are increasingly rare. Not all places will suffer this loss equally, fellow natural philosophers. Karnak has a unique feature, the cleft of Shindari Peak, through the which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with the cost of finding the remaining leviathans escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Karnaka will find itself uh, ascended among the isles. Well, basically you're poaching them into extinction. Good job. Hope you're proud. We've been en route for two weeks. Let's talk. All right, you've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. 
He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the Crown Killer. Maybe the alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Heck yeah. With that Watchtower, the only way to get to Adermeyer is through the carriage station. Sokolov always seemed ageless. Not now. As assassins go, the Crown Killer was messy. Vulgar. The Duke wanted people afraid. Hattermeyer Institute's been there for a long time, but Hypatia wasn't around when I lived in Karnaka. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of the Empress, blah blah. Write an opinion piece harsh. Oh, we've already read this. I've read that already. I was like, that sounds familiar. Delilah's powerful. Yes, she is. How is it possible I haven't crossed her path in all these years? Before I leave Circonos, Duke Luca Abel and I are going to meet face to face, and he'll pay for all this. Mortimer Ramsey, the entitled son of entitled parents. The Duke's coup relied on a weasel like you. Sokolov's style. It's Delilah. What I know about Delilah is pretty limited because I only played the first, uh... The, the first DLC. I'm, I'm, I'm a little regretting not playing the second one. Maybe I'll end up going back and playing it. His investigation notes? Oh, hell yeah. Dearest Emily, or must I say... says, oh, what's wrong with you? Like, it's somebody he knows. I wonder, because Delilah, as far as I understand, um, from playing the first DLC anyway, she had she had magical powers, clearly. Um, and from what I was told about the second DLC, she ends up trapped in a painting. So how she escapes the painting, I'm not sure. Uh, but she has, like, she's pretty mind controlly. Like, she makes people obsessed with her. So that would, make, that would explain how the opening of the game happened. All right. 
Why can't an old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate with good wines and spicy foods without stumbling into another nest of ar uh, aristocratic vipers eager to coil around the heart of this empire? As I've learned more each week for months now, my, uh, I found my mind turning, turning over the moments or movements beneath the surface here in Karnaka. Duke Luca, Abel, and some inner circle that even seems to include Captain Mortimer Ramsey of the Dunwall City Watch. A betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress, young Emily. That much is certain. But when will they strike and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of esoteric information, linking it together with what we already know? Can we even afford another week? Or should Megan and I set out for Gristal tonight, taking this leaky tub up through the carn uh, canal? Corvo will not hesitate. He will act as soon as I hand over what I know, and if I'm too hasty, it might be his undoing, coming home to his native Sirkonos without some critical piece of knowledge about this affair. And then there's the crown killer to worry about. If that fiend is part of Duke Abel's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful whale catches the Duke's eye? Well, here I am. I really am happy I picked Corvo, I'm not gonna lie. A Reflection of My Journey by Anton Sokolov. Uh, a colleague of mine owns a stunning map of the known world, adorned with uh, curlicues and sea beasts, and has a cherished spot over her mantle. She paid handsomely for it and was so bristled when I uh, enumerated the various errors. Chief among them, of course, the size and placement of the Pandician continent. Oh, how cartographers are loath to show how small and distant our empire really is compared to that giant landmass. As if Pandicia were but a few days' journey from our Aaron. Every veteran ship captain knows every yeah, every veteran ship captain knows that it takes months to reach those shores. I had no doubt that Pandicia was rich in resources, but a place must be understood if we were to hope to exploit its myriad of treasures. These were my thoughts as I agreed to join the ill-fated expe expedition. And so it was, on the third day of the month of Earth, under calm gray skies, the great sea vessel Antonia Aquilo set sail with the captain crew, researchers, and myself. 38 of us in total for what would be the most terrifying and spiritually draining experience of my life. So he went to Pandicia. Uh, Sokolov's note, blood study fly, or the blood fly study, rather. <laughs> I've wondered whether I have another book in me. The blood fly epidemic, coupled with basic information on life cycle and behavior, might make an excellent project for this old natural philosopher. Blood flies are exotic insects, unlike anything else found in Sirkonos. I suspect they originated from the Pandician continent. In groups of three or fewer, they are hum harmless. Individuals won't attack, leading me to speculate that each em emits a scent that has a collective effect on a larger number of blood flies. Blood flies are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Their nests can be broken apart, scattering the swarm, and in particular, the nests are quite susceptible to fire. The insects require fresh corpses to lay their eggs, which hatch in uh, breathtaking fashion as they after a very short time. More corpses in Sirkonin City say during a crisis or plague mean more blood flies. Interestingly, in the last part of the blood flies' life cycle, they calm a great deal, leaving the swarm they molt, causing the wings to drop off. Afterward, each blood fly lives a solitary life of existence. Very odd. Blood flies are largely restricted to the south, preferring warmer climates, like certain aging natural philosophers. Well, I'm curious. Is this going to be like the rats of this game? We're going to be seeing a lot of blood flies, much like we saw a lot of rats in the first one. Wouldn't necessarily surprise me. All right, so we're gonna head to the skiff, I guess. Oh, I can't unlock it. Hmm. See, this is why I wanna go around. You never know what you could find. I'm not seeing if there's anything else around at all, but. Can I pop this open? No. Hmm. What is this? Orbin rum. Ah, oh, it's a giant tub of rum! Alright, let's keep moving. So where... So that's... Alright. I want to get that rune. I just don't know if I can. That's my room. Lock the door. Honestly, the ship is huge. Wait, the rune's in the water? Oh, look at that whale! Oh, that is super cool. But I'm going for the rune. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it, fish! 
Okay, all right, we got a rune. There's like spooky music playing. I wasn't sure what was going on. Um. So we got a rune. Powers. Three runes. Runes carry. Oh, I have three already. Oh, okay. So we have our usual, which is devouring swarm, all that other stuff. Then we have our normal stuff like strength, uh, agility, which is going to be majorly important. Dark vision, see better in darkness, observing being through walls. So nothing new, it seems. All of his powers are exactly the same, which is still not a bad thing. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is immediately take dark vision. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then I'll equip. It's already at six, so I can kind of pop it and climb up. So we can put our, our weapons away. We don't need it right now, but that's going to be massively important later. Skiff. That's where I'm going. I'll have to unjam that door. Like, I don't know if I can actually unjam the door now if I'm going to come back. What we got? The void. Uh, I've been watching Megan Foster closely. For now, I've decided to trust her. Without her, I'd probably be like Emily, trapped by Delilah's magic. So for now, this boat captain is my only ally, even if she's hiding something. I hope Anton Sokolov will be joining us soon. The greatest mind the Empire has ever known. Famous for his paintings and his fondness for King Street Brandy. He managed to get himself abducted by the Crown Killer. Megan Foster says he was last seen being dragged toward Adamire Institute. My guess is the killer is a patient. Maybe he needs some treatments. But how could a murderous lunatic be able to come and go uh, to the Duke's dirty business? All right, so that's where we're going to go. Let's do it. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Yep, let's do it. Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more time, old friend. I love how he talks to the mask like that, like, one more time, old friend, like, becoming something that he's not. Very, ah, it's so Batman-like, which is why I love it so much. Just a haggard, grizzled old killer forced to do something he left, or at least he thought he left behind years ago. That's why I wanted to play as Corvo. Security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca of El took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. Don't you know who I am? Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. <laughs> 